Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today again we are going to be solving another room from TryHackMe and this time this is the IDE room. I'm Sarvalsek and let's get started. So if you have not already subscribed to my channel, you can come over here. As you can see, I've posted more than 150 videos on cybersecurity. So yeah, keep subscribing and yeah, let's learn more. So we already have deployed my machine and I've started my machine over here and this is the IP given to me. So let's start with an nmap scan. So nmap dash let's just start with nmap and the ip address so if you have solved this room there is one catch to it just using nmap will not work because if you don't specify which port is it then it's just going to scan the top 1000 ports and this room specifically requires us uh, to scan all the ports which are there it's like 65000 ports which are there in nmap so we need to scan all of those ports so the format for that is nmap dash p dash and then the ip address so this is what we are supposed to do for scanning 65,000 ports. So when we press enter, and I'm sure this will take about 15 minutes. So only this part, I already done this in my PC before. So as you can see, it took me about 981 seconds, which is 15 minutes. Okay. So as you can see, there are four ports which are open. One is port 21, 22, 80, and 62337. So filtered ones, you can just ignore the filtered ones. Just let's, these are the open ones, these four. Okay. Now, once we know the four open ports, we can just run an map scan specific to these four open ports. So I'm separating those ports by a comma. 21 is FTP, 22 is SSH, 80 is for HTTP, and there is one unknown port, which is 62337. So 62337 and then it will be followed by our IP address and what kind of scan is it let's just do the default scan script scan uh, the reason I'm doing doing default script scan is because whenever I see port 21 which is open default script scan will help me check whether anonymous FTP login is allowed or not so that's one plus point of using SC so till the time that is loading since we know port 80 is open just like why not let's go over here as you can see there are there is, is an apache 2 default page that means apache 2 service is running on the system and then there is ftp port okay okay here is the result for the nmap scan port 21 is open and yep there is an anonymous ftp login which has been allowed then there is ssh there's an http and then there is this port so usually we start with the go versus scan on port 80 but let's start with Let's start by using uh, checking out all the ports. So for port 21, let's start by going FTP, FTP, and then the IP address, IP address, which is here. Okay. Then the name, which is anonymous. Which this uh, anonymous thing just came me from the FTP scan. Okay. So I just did an FTP scan. They told me that this is allowed, and I'm gonna listen to the nmap, and it is the basic nmap is used for enumeration it's quite the basic tool we need to use nmap on the given ip now we are in successfully logged inside so port 21 is done port 22 is ssh i don't think we have the username or the password for the ssh then there is http which we have seen over here now let's look at the last port 62337 so okay let's go here 62337 and okay this is also and service which is http actually it's like as you can see it is working see it's working online it's coming over here so even this is working and okay there's a username and password which we don't know yet and after logging in we'll get something okay so and we can use go buster on port 80 but let's just skip that for now over here if we are in ftp so let's just start by creating our directory for our track me so music track me and let's mkdir ide which is the name of the room let's go inside okay now we'll change the lcd lcd is local change directory or local current directory one of the above and well if you see lcd right now it is at my home directory so these are the ftp commands over here out of which the get command is used to get the file so if there is any file which I want, I just cannot, I just cannot use the cat command in FTP. 
I cannot see if the, if I find the file, I cannot use the cat command. And neither can I use the clear command. So to receive the file, I use the get command. So wherever where I want to get it is where I control by LCD. So I want that thing to come in my music. Try hack me and the IDE folder. Now as you can see, the local current directory has been changed. So all the files will come in this directory. One more thing. When file do ls, you can see the, since there's a new directory, nothing is here. If I do ls dash l a, then you can see there's there's this um, hidden directories or something like this dot and double dot directory. So I did not create these two folders. So these two folders are always there whenever you create a new folder. See, I did not create this. I just made a new folder in front of you guys. But still, these two are there. Just like that over here, if I'm doing ls, nothing is here. But if I'm doing ls dash l a, but there are rather than two, there are three. So the third one is sus, okay, suspicious. So let's go there in the third, like dot 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 folder. Now we are inside. Now if I do ls dash la, you can see there are files, three files. These two are the normal common ones, which are there in every folder. As you can see, this is the one in my machine. This is the one where I'm inside that other person's machine. Okay, and over here, um, there is this file, which is dash. So I'll try and receive this file by get dash. So when I do this get, so as you can see, transfer has been completed. Now in my local machine, now dash is there. So I just, just did an FTP transfer. Now I guess our FTP work is done. Exit goodbye, bye bye. And over here we have the dash file. Now how to cat out dash file was quite a challenge. One method is, uh, method which I don't recommend is using the actual format which is using dot backspace and dash then you can read the content another method which is the easier method which is just change the name of the file just rename it let's just say move dash to um, ftp underscore file or just you can name anything okay, I just change the name now you can just cat ftp that was better than remembering cat dot slash dash this is this is bad Okay, so what is the note we have here? We have this person name as John and we have this Drake. So we have two usernames right now in front of us. Yeah, you are in cyber security. Every name we see is a username. And this guy says that I've reset at the password you have asked. So please use the default password to log in. So what is the default password? So it depends on the service or default password can be password like admin admin, admin user or admin password. Anything can be the password default password so using this information we know the username either it is drag or is it either it is john but we know it is john because uh, because it's because drag is talking to john so that means he's referring to john and then the password is default so actually when i just as you can see in the title page um, this service is code add so i just went and i just search code add um, default password but it says bitnami but okay let's just try bitnami as the password I'll just um, change it for the better visibility and again if you did not know this you have to subscribe to my channel right now this is amazing trick okay you can see the password in plain text over here so okay so as you can see I log in it says incorrect password now uh, it since it's a default password either you can use you can uh, use we can use hydra or i just tried some hydra okay you can use hydra hydra is the best method if, if you are doing solving a ctf but i just since it's his default password i just trying password just like that just like inst instant the actual method is to be using hydra but it's okay since we okay nice amazing we have been logged inside that's amazing so we don't need the port 80 anymore that's for sure so I'll just clear this nmap scan we don't need it anymore and this is also we don't need this file anymore but it's okay now we are inside what is there anything which you can think of how we can exploit this so again we are using codeyard let's just search for codeyard exploit just searching on the internet okay there is one exploit over here but it's a github I don't want to download it next is by exploit db amazing exploit db to our rescue and it is also verified 
Wow, it's amazing. Okay, so I just need to simply copy paste this thing. This I guess is a Python script, and I run this, and this will give me an RCE remote code execution. Authenticated means that we need to you know the password and username which we know. Username is John. Password is password. So this can work. So rather than me going and download everything right now, since I am lazy, I am not going to do this. I am going to search it on Searchploit. Now what is Searchploit? Um, Searchploit since we are using Kali Linux, we do this for a reason, right? So Kali Linux has every copy of exploit DV exploits. So rather than me going and downloading right now, I'll just search for exploit. Uh, I'll just search for search exploit which is there in every Kali machine and I'll type in the name of the service which is code add okay code add and it will give me results so there are five of them so it's the version is 2.8.4 as you can see so 2.8.4 let's just use the first one so they have given us the location so where, where are these exploits located these exploits are located in CD USR share then there is exploit db see this exploit db is the same one as this exploit db then there is exploits go inside the exploits directory then copy this we need to go here okay okay now we are inside since this work this proves that this directory exists and we have the name of the python file which we need to run okay so let's just run it python 3 and the name so why am I using Python 3? Because I worked with Python but it did not it wasn't working with Python. So Python 3. I just typed in the name of the Python file. The user who made this, Mr. Wang He Yan. Thank you so much, you're an amazing scripter. He just made it so simple for us, he even gave us examples and all. So that's amazing. So to run it, we need Python 3, the name. Then this is localhost, that is the URL which we need to type, which we have over here. So we have the URL. Remember guys, one more thing I just encountered while doing the solving this room is that you need to provide a slash over here. If you don't provide a slash for some reason, it doesn't work. Then there is username, then there is password. I'm just following this pattern, okay? Which we even have the example here. Okay, then um, admin, okay, it's the username which is John. JOHN the password which is password luckily for us then next is IP so this IP is our own internal IP this is an RCE remote code execution which is gonna give us a shell back so if, since it is giving us a shell back we need to give it an IP okay so um, let me open another over here yep so I'll just type in my IP sudo uh, I have config tune just a second guys I am typing in the reverse shell IP so that it knows where to connect me in my reverse shell ok so this is my IP just typing this will be fine then next is 8888 which is the port in which I want to connect so I like the port 1234 it just sounds good Next is, is it Windows system or is it Linux system? It is Linux system. I'm so sorry I've removed the nmap scan. But if you had the nmap scan, um, then it in in that it shows that it is a Ubuntu system. I mean, it doesn't show here, but the other scan which I did. Okay, I'll just do it quickly. nmap dash port. Let's just do it on port 80. We'll just do an SV scan and on the IP just to prove that it is a Ubuntu machine okay mm, okay I, just a little time that is running since I know it is Ubuntu machine and I am typing Linux otherwise you can just type Windows if it doesn't work you can go for Linux it's a 50-50 anyways okay we have the result and it says Ubuntu now trust me okay it says Ubuntu that's nice we have done this part next is since this guy Mr. Wang He Shan is so amazing he told us please like he has such after typing such amazing script he is even using the word please so one thumbs up for this guy next up is he is telling us to ta run these two commands in the terminal before doing anything so 
I am running these two commands on my terminal before the exploit runs. He says that just execute these two commands and then after you're running, if you're done executing these two commands, then call me. So I have opened two terminal and in both the terminal I've typed in the command provided by this Mr. Wang Yi and after done this just press yes. In fact this command is, the script is so amazing it will wait for you that okay please press yes and I have given you time to do all of this. The second you press yes everything works some payload is always going and yay we have a reverse shell and I'm inside the system. A big thumbs up and congratulations if you have reached till this step now this stage if you are doing it side by side otherwise if you're just watching it for education purposes we have an amazing privilege escalation which is yet to come okay see so let's um, just do ls okay this thing you can see all of this okay I don't understand anything or <laughs> anything over here so let's just go to the home directory let's see who is in the home there is mr. Drake so let's go in his directory okay we are inside I'm doing clear clear is not working I don't like this I want clear to work so I'm going to set term by okay I there are so many things I see one more thing I'll just show you if I press the up arrow key you can see a if I press down arrow key you can see B if I type left you can see D and right is C so firstly I cannot use my arrow keys that is plus one point which I don't like in this terminal secondly I can't use the word clear so these are two things which I don't like so now I'm going to do upgrade shell okay one more thing if I am doing if I want to switch user for example if I'm doing switch user Drake it's telling me uh, okay if I'm okay it's nothing if I do sudo dash L to list all the sudo's uh, file then it's telling me no TTY is present so since no TTY is present I cannot even type in the password so three things over here which I need to upgrade in the shell so upgrade TTY reverse shell and there is this blog by Mr. Ropnop amazing guy thank you so much for making this blog over here just I'm just using this last line over here I can just I'm ignoring everything so to make my script amazing these are the magic words and magic lines first line which I'm typing here Python over here will give me the TTY because it says import PTY so this will give me DTTY so it says Python is not there oh my god so I need to run Python 3 so Python 3 and the I'm just copying it from the first line okay in this option okay I press enter see now uh, what has been upgraded do you remember what happened when I type sudo dash shell if you don't you can just skip back 10 15 seconds to this video it is now asking me for a password that is plus one point now we just have two worries that is up and uh, arrow keys are not working see now it is at least asking me for the password that means at least if I have the password if if I would have had the uh, known the password it would have worked that is plus one point that at least we can use the password to do something okay that's point one point two up arrow key down arrow key still not working bad 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 so let's upgrade this and third thing I cannot still I cannot use clear so let's then this say press control Z control Z okay then this guy says type in this line so I'm going to type STTY raw echo after I do this then next he is telling me to type FG so FG okay I know you can't see this even this looks so weird okay it was loading okay we are finally inside now as you can see if I press up arrow key it works but clear doesn't work okay but F arrow key F upper arrow key works like up and I see I am going left and right so that is one upgrade that is amazing thank you so much for this upgrade again let's keep continuing it I want the best terminal in this world I am world I won't stop till the time I get that which terminal type okay if you just get this error just type X term for now I'll explain what that is okay see uh, right now I'm going to set which terminal I want to use see if I'm typing clear it is telling me term variable not set so let's set the term variable term is which terminal to set 
So, so to set the terminal we use the export keyword that is used to set environmental variable values so let's just set it set export term is equal to x term now what is x term see even x term is there even in our kali machine see every machine even even kali machine has the x term so let's set export term is equal to x term so now I have, when i have done this till that all this time clear was not working as you can see now clear works amazing right so I have done all the three parts up arrow key left arrow key all are working even clear is working everything is working so life is good next what we are remaining is to cat out this user.txt let's just do this user.txt but we cannot because permission denied because as you can see to open the file of user.txt only drag can do this but what we are we are www.data you can see who am I? I am www.data. I have absolutely no status. Uh, not not another uh, status is maybe the wrong word. I have no value. Not yeah. I don't have that high value. Yeah. If I was the pseudo or someone with more privileges of Drake, I would have able to read this. So sad. I cannot. So let's do privilege escalation. So various methods and steps to do privilege escalation. One method is uploading a tool. Another method is self thinking about what we can do. So what people will do is do the find command, find all the files with the privileges. That is one. Then you can go to cron job. There are so many things which are to be done. Since I'm lazy, I'm just going to upload a shell. I'm not lazy actually. I don't know. Let's just go to, there is this lint piece. There's a tool. This lint piece tool is used to automate everything that you can automate this and you can know where previous discussion can be done okay so i'll upload this thing from here to over here this is where i'm inside their machine this is and this is my own local system so let's see i can even split it uh do you want me to split or do you want me to not split it Okay, let me try and split it. Mm. Okay, now I have split the system. Okay, so this is my machine down, and this is the uh, machine, other machine that is inside the system. In my machine, I'm going to uh, where I've stored it. The you can just download Linpiece. It's quite easy. It's quite available. To get Linpiece, you just type lin piece and just w get the lin piece file or just get clone the lin pin file this lin piece dot sh is what is over here lin piece dot sh okay okay over firstly i'll set the python sudo python dash m simple http server and i'm starting my own server okay and i'm serving it at port 80 now I've started my own server. Now I'll get that file. So wget from which IP? So my IP over here. Wget my IP. Um, then since this is an HTTP, so obviously you need to type in HTTP dot dot slash slash and the name of the file. Name of the file was linpiece and just linpiece over here. And I'll press enter. As you can see, there is some connection and it says permission denied. Cannot write to. Okay, okay, see. Uh, I do not have write permission in this uh, drag person's place because drag is fully owned by Mr. Drag and I'm WW. So sad. So, since I do not see, as you can see, I don't have any privileges of reading and writing. I have the read permissions, not write permissions. See. I, don't, I only have the read permissions. So where should i go let's go to temporary directory temporary directory is called the chill directory you can do anything over there so i'll just run this command again and yes it worked because in temp directory i have write permissions it's quite temporary right so after i've done this i'll stop my server i guess we are done with the server part how to close it um i should quit or should i should close i don't know Okay, let's just keep it here. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure. So, 
ls we have linpeace so let's run this so chmod i'm firstly making executable so that it runs one more thing for this upgraded terminal i can just press tab and it will auto complete yeah so upgrade your terminal that's quite amazing next is running it since we have made it runnable now real piece is going to work for us okay and it might take some time for that to do for that to happen so it will just give out all the results and everything see everything is over here let's just test out what will happen if i close it or should i quit it so if i close it okay close is the right answer so i'll close it yeah okay let's just see what lin pieces found us so mr lin piece says that mm, nothing much okay they see lin piece gave us information about these other two users so if there would have been more users it would have scored it's giving us all information to us rather than me manually going it it's just giving us all the juicy things over here okay nothing much okay to keep on running and running and running and running and running and running okay we are done everything has done now i'll tell you uh, one more thing firstly i'll just copy all of this result given as pelin piece okay i'll just copy this okay and i'll go back to the home directory and go to mr drake okay now whatever i copied i'll just uh, make um, i'll just make a file like prev s and I'll paste whatever the content was there now over here if I'll do ls dash la you can see there is a file known as bash history so and bash history is there and the uh, data is also not zero so I can just cat out that file cat dot bash history so bash history used to know all the history which was used and all so as you can see for the mr drag i have it has revealed the password so amazing so since it has revealed the password now i can switch user to drag and again you won't get this password field till the time you upgrade your shell so if you're not having this password shield so try and upgrade your shell i have this tty and that will work that is point one okay now i am drag congratulations id or you can just do who am i see i am drag so that is point on pre escalation you can just cat out this user.txt no one is stopping you i won't just do it so that is point on next up is mm, what was the use of our using this linp software i'll just tell you this crack previous has everything what the linp found out right and let's just grab out the password which he found what was the password which he found okay cat bash underscore history it was see if i do ls dash la i found bash underscore history and since it was um, not empty and since it was readable i catted out the value and luckily we got the uh, password but let's just look whether linp is also found out the password or not as you can see Lint piece also. Let me just clear it once. See. So the answer is yes. Even Lint piece found out the answer. So it says line three hundred and seventy-four. Let's do this. So in line three hundred and seventy-four, yep, it gave us that this is the password. Searching possible passwords inside Bash history, and this was the password. So yes, Linpeace was amazing. It's just that you need to go and read every each and every line. So if you can do this, yes, that is quite the real method of doing it. Since now we are dragged, now let's just leave it. Let's just go to the root directory. And by the way, we have, we have solved the answer for the first one. Now we are going to look for the second one. It says permission denied, obviously because we are not root. Um, 
let's keep um, this password in mind it will help us many places now next step of privilege escalation is doing sudo dash l which will give us the answer for sudo as file we know the password for drag which is this okay it gave us the answer and it says that whoever in this uh, that drag may run this command and this command only but he will run this as a sudo user sudo as file is like over here that i can run this command as the sudo user that's amazing right so i can just do sudo and i'll run this command okay so what happened nothing happened maybe this what is vs ftp let's even search this vsftpd it is an ftp service ftp server okay so okay it is ftp server okay not what else what more next is um do you know what services if it was an apache service what you have done would have type service apache to start stop status so just like that we are going to do that service vs ftpd status sorry drag is not allowed to run this okay let me clear it out for clarity let's cat out the sudo dash l file and let's just run this with sudo but if i'll do status it won't work because i'm not allowed to run this status as sudo i'm only allowed to run reset restart as status as sudo it says sudo says only restart so i cannot add sudo and status but i can only run status is okay so it says status it's active and this thing is being loaded from over here this file this ftp server its configuration file is over here and it's been loaded from here press q to exit from it exit from the state now we know the location of configuration file so let's go there and these are all the configuration files out of which which we are using you looking for as for vstp so let's cat out that vsftp dot service okay so this is the unit configuration file over here you can see exit this is the configuration file in short whenever someone starts vsftp server whenever i start it then this execute script works okay and since we are doing this since it sudo dash l is allowing us to uh, restart it as sudo then it will be like the root user is restarting it and when the root user restarts he is telling that to run this starting execute start that means this execute start script will run okay and when this execute start script will run we can actually change this script with anything we want this is privilege escalation okay you can just um, look at the privilegeation uh, of like privileges of this file as you can see for user drag w is right right privileges are there so luckily we can write in this file and i will change this execute start and we'll add our own malicious execute start okay so let's just um, let's just search it like a script kd we'll just um, search it service exploit privilege escalation okay privilege escalation okay we are just searching it like script kd and we have something i hope so no okay i don't like this uh see look at the directory which we are in we are in the system d so uh system d system d privilege escalation nothing much okay let's keep looking let's just do sudo dash l it is this command which you are allowed to run right so let's search for this thing privilege escalation okay we have something mm 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 
let it run okay uh, this thing says that if you want to um, where is it see which system D right okay over here there is see if there is something which has system D path then in this as you can see in this execute script I told you right we can add our own Malaysia script so this is what they did this is just an example actually we could have thought it on ourselves I just wanted to show an example that okay let's do it so that if you're using the net so you can just like have a better faith so even I told we can use anything we can add our own script so we'll just nano it and we'll add this script over here and this script will be our own script so rather than uh, bash sc is used to run whatever we want in the bash we'll be using dash c flag for the command and over here we'll be typing in our malicious input okay so let's first nano the file nano vsftb.service and execute script uh, execute start is what happens when uh, this starts so when I do restart also that will also run since we are restarting so everything will run so we have will replace what has to be done with our malicious script which is slash bin slash bash is also okay sh is also okay which one do you want to run okay let's just do bash if you are more familiar with bash dash c is for command and over here there are two things which I can do I can either just do a reverse shell reverse shell pen test monkey I can just paste in the bash reverse shell which is this this will give me a reverse shell connection back and I'll be the root user that is step 1 step 2 is using sudo as file so which one do you want to do su do us privilege s let's do both okay escalation okay has this guy done this okay now for sudo as file will uh, define what the any user can do so as you can see uh, over here this guy which is harris where is it where is it mm. Yeah, so if I type this line in the sudoers file, then this Harris user will be able to run all the commands without the use of root or without the use of password. So just like that, our user uh, is um, Drake. So we are going to type Drake all, 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 and we are going to put this in the sudoers file. Okay, so the location of sudoers file is slash etc sudoers. Okay, so what script I want to do is I want to do some echo. What I want to echo is I want to add Drake DRAC that was the name of a user then I'll type on uh, this I'll just copy paste this as it is I'm changing the sudoers file to give us more privileges then I want to put this echo content in slash etc slash sudoers file s u d o e r s s u d o e r s okay so if I run this, if I execute this, see this what will happen is that this extra privileges will come to us because we have edited the sudoers file and actually we are not actually we are not allowed to edit the sudoers file since we don't have privileges but since, since um, when this command restart command will work and this will run all of this will run with root privileges we will be actually be able to do this. So let's check it again. I hope everything is fine. I'll just save it. I have saved this so after, if your nano is not working just remember you need to upgrade your shell otherwise your up key or down key will just be ABCD and it won't work so you won't be able to use nano okay now after that is done let's run our command which has sudo privileges so sudo dash and they'll run the command and before running the command it just says that the unit file was changed so if your unit file is changed and to reload it because if I'm just running this command you know what is happening when I'm running this command the old file the unedited file by me is also is restarting again and again it's not reloading it 
and there's a difference between reload and restart okay so to reload it so to tell it that okay things have changed even the system itself is giving me a warning that just run this command to reload after you reload after you're done reloading then you can restart it is asking me for the password as to reload which we know it's drag password okay drags password and now i have reloaded it so now i have reloaded it the new script which we just downloaded and made changes will run okay so now let's run this again now i did restart now everything has been worked now if we do sudo dash l you can clearly say see the changes that user drag may run no password all compared to only this one command which i was able to run as sudo now i can just run anything so i can just switch user root or something okay let's just see okay no switch user root will it work no switch user root will not work because it will require me the root password to switch user but i can do sudo su and now i am root whereas it will ask me no password see it is in my sudo as file and since i am root i can just cd to the root directory and cat out the file but let's even do the second method if you are interested in second method as well which is the reverse shell method okay so switch user drag for now let's and we'll also do this again in the drag one so let's uh, nano the same file and over here we'll run and reverse shell rather than changing the sudo as file so mm, let me okay did a mistake yep the shell we got so i'm just saying that we can also do this by reverse shell and actually doing it by reverse shell is better according to me i think but it's okay see now we go to pen test monkey where which we had opened previously we'll copy in our reverse shell we'll paste it here see what we are saying this thing is that you go to mr bash bin bash and tell him to run this command which is our reverse shell okay even uh, bin slash sh will work fine and this is the ip address where it will connect back to us so the ip address which we need to provide is our own sudo i have config one okay so and let's just start with the netcat listener so netcat dash lvnp 1 2 3 4 this is the starting of our listener we are able to, we are ready to listen and on the above one since we are done let's just save it okay we have saved this now again just like before we'll restart the service um do you remember the name of the service uh, okay it was i think um sudo system ctl system d vsft dot ftvdd restart i think this was the command no what was the command i don't remember the command but i just telling you okay where did my history go <laughs> see if we feel just restart if we, for example if we were never the root user and everything was back to normal how it was before then again you just need to restart it by restarting the daemon and once you do that and once you restart it you will get a root connection back so i messed up in um this so unfortunately <laughs> what was the name of the sudo file i if we do sudo dash i don't even i won't even get back the previous one okay so just remember we have done everything correctly i'll just show you the file which is there okay over here we have just posted put in the reverse shell once you have started listening just run that restart command again it will give you the reverse shell back okay for some reason i don't even remember what was that restart line uh, should i get the restart line okay 
let me get the restart line one second guys yep so sorry I am just looking up on the room again because I don't remember the line we can just skip this one minute in head future mm, where is the line okay here is the line okay I got the line the line was sudo slash usr slash sbin slash service vs ftpd restart i have to actually i have opened this room again in track me again in my phone okay so it's again says that configuration as file has been changed so run this so obviously we'll run this reload it so after reloading it it will ask me for the password which we know after typing in the password reload has been completed and again we'll run this okay I did not get a connection back uh, okay I know why did I not get a connection back is because I am dumb enough to listen on some wrong port uh, the reverse shell is working on port 8080 yep now it will work let me just restart the service oh my god I feel so embarrassed <laughs> should I do this bash or should I just keep it SH well I tried with SH it was working but maybe something might have happened it will see me to run this again I'll run this again ok it will ask me for the password which we know okay then after that is done I just need to do this and here as you can see we have the reversal yep finally it is working we have the reversal who am I? I am root you can just go to the root directory and cat out this file root.txt so I'm not gonna cat it for you but yeah and so sorry for the disturbance i hope you like this video please hit subscribe and you can comment in the comment section if you did not understand anything i think i have explained it quite properly and this reversal or something if you want i'll make a video exceptionally for it if you request it for and this is my channel like share subscribe again and i'll see you next time bye bye